Isaac. In Genesis chapter 26, there was no rain, but God told him to sow seed where there's no rain. Now, where do you get that from? You get that from this voice talking to your spirit. Now, if you're not saved, you don't have a spirit that hears God. So that's why you got to get saved. Yeah. Only God knows how you're made. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you, you, your grandmama don't know but so much about you. God knows all about you. Okay? Right. So what happened is um, he talked to Isaac. So in verse 12, we showed you that. And in verse 12, it said this. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord, what? Amen. Blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Now, we ask you to look at that in the message translation. What I ask you to do is get you a Holy Bible app on your phone so that you can get these things. Because when I read it and give it to you, it's in seed form. Now you got to do the planting. And you got to do the meditating, which does the water, okay? Isaac planted crop in that land and took in a huge harvest. Yes, sir. See, I, I stop at huge harvest. Yes, sir. I want to know how huge, huge is. Yes. Because what he did for Isaac, he'll do for me. Yes. So I, I want to know how big that is, because I know in the natural, I'm thinking big is this big. But if I get a hold of God, God's got a whole nother definition of what being is. Come on now. Am I right about it? God bless him. Now, what happens when I meditate that? The Holy Spirit paints a picture on the inside of me of what God sees. And I told you, what you see, you will believe. Got it? All right, look at the next. And the man got richer and richer by the year. Uh, 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 uh. Richer and richer by the month. Richer and richer by the week. I'm talking about whatever God's got you into. It could be stock. It could be real estate. It could be whatever it is. You're about to get richer and richer by the day. So I'm talking about accelerated wealth. Now, if you meditate that and put it up there again, if you meditate that and you believe that, then that's what God brings to pass. He is limited by what you believe. Not because he doesn't want to do it, but because you don't believe it. And he is not wasteful. He is not going to give you something you can't handle. And I'm telling you, judge it, the prayer sometime in 1 Chronicles chapter 4. Jabez said, listen, if 